Hello, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting and in this video I'm going to show you how to copy across queries from one uh, Power BI file to another one or even to an Excel file. So here I've got a, um, a date table. These are really, really important for Power BI or any kind of data model. Um, and I've created this in Power Query. Often I do it in Power BI using DAX, but this one was a bit more complicated, so I used Power Query. Um, it's got things like fiscal years, which don't start at the same uh, at the first month, and plus it's got periods that accumulate. So it's got like um, the first period, the second. So although they are in quarters, they are cumulative. So these kind of things are not necessarily that easy to do in other apps. Um, an index. So how can we copy them across? What we do is uh, I put them in a group like this. So the easiest way is click on the group, right click it, go to copy and go to another one and go to edit queries. So it launches the query editor, right click and paste. That will take all of them including the group. Um, and then once you've done that, so two of these are parameters. You can kind of see their parameters because there's a slightly different icon there. And because this is a date table, we can enter the start date and the end date. So I can say that I wanted to start on the 1st of October 2020 and end on the 30th of November 2023 like that. It's giving you these when it doesn't quite work and that was because the end date was before the start date which obviously can't happen but now it's it's worked okay. Um, the ones that are kind of grayed out are not loading to the data model. The white one is loading to the data model. As you can see it starts over here. Um, that's basically it. Uh, you can do the same with Excel. So you can also shift click or control click and select all of them and copy or even you can just select the loading one this one copy it let's go to Excel in this case so let's go to data and launch Power Query Editor and I just selected the one query which is the loading one the white one and I'm gonna paste that one and you're going to see that's going to paste the others as well. Right click on this thing on the left and paste. Yep, so it pastes all the precedent ones. All the ones that are required for this to actually work. Um, it doesn't paste the folder though, so I do it like this because the folder is nice to do it. Uh, you can also, if you go to the view tab, you get query dependencies. And this is kind of a, a nice way to see that the start date and the end date lead to this one. This one leads to this one. This one leads to this one. <laughs> so um, that's why you kind of need them because this loading one is based on these previous ones. As I said, it is a little bit more advanced than other ones. And that's why um, I've had to take uh, five in this case. But that's broadly how you do it. Remember to change the parameters. In Power BI, though, you can change the parameters in a simpler way directly from the user interface by going to the drop down, edit queries, edit parameters, and you can just change them directly in here. Great, thanks for watching.